Hello, and welcome to Tea with the Goddess. Um, it is going to be the full moon tomorrow, um, a couple of days after Imbolc. Um, Imbolc is the time of the cycle of the year where um, we can definitely scent spring coming. I like to call it the snooze button. Um, if we think of uh, winter, the solstice, when as a time when the earth is fully, finally fallen to sleep and everything is in hibernation, um, then um, in bulk, um, Groundhog's Day, is uh, the time when, um, I don't know if it still is, but the time when the lambs were being born. And uh, so uh, the milk would start flowing from the ewes. ewes. Um, and so it's like the first stirring of life. In um, some places, it's a good indication that the weather is not going to be as cold as it was. I don't know where you are, but here there was a bit of a cold snap, much nicer than in some other places, and uh, I believe pretty well handled by the city, to the best of my knowledge. But um, we're getting the first hints of spring. The rain is more rain than sleet. Um, the snow is slushier. So, which, you know, for trees might not be a good thing, but, um, and, you know, if the groundhog sees a shadow, six more weeks of winter, you know, the earth's just like, eh, 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 I'm not worrying about it today, I'm going to go back to bed. But, um, that is kind of the feeling, the time, it's my happy time, like, okay, we are through with official winter. Now we get to definitely start looking forward to the spring coming. It is on its way. Six weeks. Um, of course, these days, these years, six weeks doesn't feel like that much time anymore. Full moon would be um, a time uh, for finalizing, uh, no, sorry, um, fully implementing projects, you know, being at the height, starting, being at that real passionate place of bringing things into being, having them realized. Um, full moon is also open and all seeing. Um, the light is shining down. Um, a friend of mine once talked about how at night, Obviously, vision is different than it is during the day. Um, the shadows are different. We see things in a different light. There's a different perspective. And uh, it's definitely the same with the full moon. The light from the moon shining down is, many people believe and feel colder than the light from the sun. And I guess obviously colder. <laughs> um, so it has a different vision to it, less warm, less emotional vision as of seeing things starkly as they are without um, the added feel of it, if that makes sense. So in a way, a less emotional feel. But the moon is also considered to be a symbol of uh, um, the psychic vision of being able to see things in that mysterious time as opposed to during the daylight when almost everybody can see. So, you know, depending on your feel for the full moon, um, it, yeah different things for different people. Often I have a theme, and I'll be honest, I'm not even sure I'm going to post this. 
Um, it's been an interesting week and an interesting day. So I figure I don't really have a theme today. Um, I am going to, but I wanted to keep doing this for me so that I would sit and talk to uh, the Divine Feminine, talk to the Goddess, um, and talk to uh, my mom because I use her sometimes as my gateway. Um, and so we will see what happens, but this is definitely going to be a babbling, well, not definitely, meandering one, and we will see. But first, we will sit and relax and breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth. And again, in through the nose, if possible. Following that breath in and down the back of the throat. Following it into the lungs. And following it back out again. In a nice circle of expansion and release. Inhale. And exhale. And inhale, feeling the breath reach to the fingers and the toes. And exhale, pushing away all the distractions, feeling the body release, relax. And as the breathing continues, just feeling that relaxation flow down, down the shoulders and down the torso, and down over the legs, and just feeling everything kind of release and let go. And breathe. We invite into this space the Divine Feminine, the Goddess, the Universe, the Earth, the power of inward contemplation, of the strength in receiving, of compassion, of tough love. of cycles. Hello. We have pumpkin pie tonight and I'm going straight for the comfort tea of a Tetley decaf um, British blend. It's kind of like the English breakfast um, with a nice sweet underneath. Um, just a flavor I enjoy. Um, so, <laughs> sorry, that's my cat. I don't know if you can hear him. He wants to know what's going on also. Please excuse me. He's not going to come in because the door is open, so it's okay. It has, oh, he is coming in. It has been a really weird week. It has been a really weird week. It started off really well, feeling really well. Um, I've been putting plans in place for how I want, what I want to give my focus to when I'm at home. I love my jobs, I love my work, so it is easy to know what I'm doing at work, in a sense, you know, where the focus should go. 
But when I get home, it's just as easy to spend all my time consuming um, food, books, movies, games. And recently I have become uh, uncomfortable in my body and in my clothing. So I've been working on that. Um, I also have been feeling like I am not balanced. Um, I love music. I love making music. I love listening to music. I love writing. I love uh, dancing. And I don't seem to be doing a lot of these things. Um, I miss meditating. Um, I miss the deep meditation. It's been a while since I've been able to get there. And this week I've made you know some decisions. This is how I want to start um, taking care of myself better, putting my energy where I want it. Um, saying that by this time I need to stop breathing and I can't read before this time and by this time I need to stop eating and um, by this time I want to be in bed and you know five minutes of this and five minutes of that and trying to give at least a little attention every day to the things I really love because it brings me joy and then it fuels that feeling of well-being. And so Monday was a really good day. I got everything done, you know, a decent weekend. I was starting to feel like I had a sinus thing coming on, um, the air being really cold and dry. And um, so I was like, you know what, I'm gonna take the weekend off. I'm not going to worry about getting it done. And I'm just gonna relax and take care of myself because that's what the weekend is for. I love my job, so I don't want to call in sick. I don't want to do that. So I'm going to uh, pre care for myself. So it was a good weekend and Monday was a great day. Um, good work, hard work, knowing what I'm doing. Um, and then Tuesday, also uh, good. Enjoyed it. Added some music in, stopped my reading it. Um, 10 or 11 and did some writing instead. So again, just really feeling the flow and woke up Wednesday morning and came in and was focusing on uh, the work I wanted to get done. And um, I, my phone wouldn't work. I could not call out or if I did manage to call out, then it would hang up that I couldn't hear me. Um, I couldn't text. Texts weren't coming in. Um, people would call and leave a message and that would show up, but I would not hear the phone call come in. So Wednesday morning was really frustrating. And I was trying to do a simple task um, that I will admit I was annoyed about because I couldn't do it online. That was not their rule, but it took a lot more time trying to get in touch with them than it did if I could have just clicked a button or sent them a message online. So, you know, very frustrated, irky, um, like, okay, putting that aside, um, went into my other job and, you know, it was better. It was just, I was able to relax and focus and do some stuff and still felt, you know, nasty and my sinuses were annoying. So I took a sinus pill and, um, but I was able to relax and I love the people I work with. Um, so I got to, you know, connect with good energy there and out of this area of frustration. So it was good that I, you know, how you get that feeling is like it's just one of those days it's a no good very bad horrible terrible sorry i can't remember the book title day and i work very hard not having those um and yes it is work because you can either 
focus on what has gone wrong and the expectation that another shoe is going to fall and then another and another, or you can, I can say, okay, well, that was that, but now we are stepping out and doing something else. We are slowing down, focusing just on this or focusing just on that. And I was able at my work to focus on a task that I knew really well, that I knew all the steps to, that it didn't take decision-making to do. Um, and I did a couple other things. Um, and there were, we launched a new thing, so, it's my first launch of a program for work. So, you know, there's that whole weird thing in the back of my head of, oh my God, this isn't right. Oh my God, this isn't right. So I came home thinking, oh, just one of those days. Like, no, it wasn't. It's was actually a decent day. Yes, it was frustrating. Yes, I um, really was about to take a hammer to the phone, but... I figured it out. I found an alternative. I made things work and then I stopped instead of trying to compound it and force myself to do other things. I went and took a break and so I did everything right. And right is the wrong word, but I did, you know, I even relaxed and did a, a breathing and connecting and I think I spent some time being grateful that I had the space to do that. Um, so, you know, followed all of my steps to the best of my knowledge. It's still so tempting to, you know, be grumpy and growly and, oh, it's a terrible day and blah, 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 and I need to do this and I need to drink that and I need to eat everything and read all the books. And I still stopped reading at a specific time and went to bed. And the next day, woke up and realized that the sinus thing was still going on and felt crunky in my throat and like oh my goodness do I have a fever I'm like you know what I haven't been feeling well I think I was actually sick yesterday because I was able well I called in and I said I'm gonna work from home um, and I can't guarantee I'm gonna get much done and I was able to look back on the day before and see that I made some decisions that I would not have normally made. Um, because I was not feeling well. I was actually sick, the whatever. Um, that level of cranky, that type of uh, rush in and do something without really contemplating everything. And honestly, well, if you've had COVID um, or any other flu or virus that was similar in the fact that it felt like your brain wasn't working. And actually, I think allergies can feel the same way. It's like, it's not quite connecting. Um, this is that step beyond where you think you're connecting. Um, and then the next day you realize that you weren't. That what it looked like yesterday was actually this, um, which is, and this is probably why I'm not going to post this. So you know what? Um, I know it takes practice. I admit I am tired of practicing. I am tired of feeling this way. I want to be flexible and slender and feel abundant and intelligent and I want for 
48 hour days, not really. Um, Cause my manifesting skills are awesome. So I don't want that, honestly. But I want to feel like there's time enough for everything in the day. That I don't have to give up one thing for another, but let's be honest, if there were more hours in the day, I'd just probably read more. I wouldn't, I mean, that's what I do now. So, Hard is being it's from the um, Labyrinth Wisdom Cards by Tony Christie. And it says you have a right to be here. Take care of yourself and start being. deals with the root chakra, chakra that forms your foundation. It is the grounding force that connects us to earth energies and empowers our being. Endows us with the right to be here, to exist, to take care of ourselves, and to have possession. When in balance, the chakra brings health, prosperity, security, and dynamic presence. The imbalance may lead to hoarding, obesity, and a material attachment. If you feel frequent fear, lack of discipline, restless, you may need to strengthen and balance the chakra. Interesting. I've been focusing a lot on the uh, second chakra, loving all dimensions of myself, and not so much on the root chakra. I guess it's time to move on. That's actually pretty heartening. This is what I love about cycles. It doesn't make it any easier to 
go through it. Especially as I've been working on physical stuff, it feels like that she says that she gets ready to eat some pumpkin cake. Hi. So if you're like me, it has been a very topsy-turvy winter, maybe year. Things going marvelously well, growth, amazing abundant growth in some areas, finding new dimensions of self and connecting with them. Um, really focusing in on things that are enjoyed, movement, <laughs> changing places, um, and in a way battling automatic reactions, the flow of things the expectation of the flow, that this action, this event, this fear, this feeling is going to bring these things. And the big things to work through, big challenges, things that we feel like we've already worked through. But really, it's just a little more real, is all. Because the chakras go, well, you know, root up to head. But if you're like me, and spirituality has always been easier than the physical, we're going head down to the root. And I have worked through the mind and the voice and opening my heart, I am still working on that. I'm not saying these things are done, but they have been the focus. Um, manifesting and accepting myself, learning to trust myself. And so now, now we're at the outer labyrinth the, the root chakra, the physical, it's the reason. It's nice to have a reason. It's easy sometimes to get sucked into the rabbit hole looking for a reason, but... I mean, did you see that? I don't know if I would... Like, I would stress and frustrated and, frankly, upset angry. I was het up. I have been het up all week long. <laughs> um, and no, not done. I've got 30 more years, 25 at least. Um, But just realizing that it is part of a cycle. It is a natural order in a way. So not that I am doing things wrong. That said, I've entered the next phase and in a way I've been still using the tools from the previous phase and loving and accepting myself all the different facets of myself is great, but if I want to change things so that there are more things I can enjoy, that's a different way of looking at it. A 
that made sense. It made sense to me mostly. And the reason I do this is to articulate it, to really bring it into the world, make it physical. Because that is what I'm doing now, is making things physical. And I have to, I want to, I'm going to work through the old things I did physically. Because eating and consuming are physical things. Um, and I would do that to create a feeling to help myself feel grounded a lot, actually. So now I get to learn the feeling of being grounded without relying on the food. And I get to focus on how awesome it feels to be flexible, how lovely it feels to be strong and go for walks and how great it will feel to physically have a clean and neat space. Um, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you for the push to do this um, today because I really thought about not. And thank you for the message. It helped so much. The world is an amazing place. And it is nice to know that the cycles ebb and flow that this too shall pass. And it is nice to know that a day that felt really crappy wasn't that bad of a day in my life. I've had much more frustrating days. But the body was done. I'm really excited to see where I am next year at this time. And I hope that as the spring is coming, you'll feel that excitement too, if that's what you're looking for. But most of all, I hope we can all feel that we are held, we are loved, and we are here to be. Blessings until next time.